year is 1755, British Colonial America. His Majesty King George II sent surveyors just like these through Western Virginia, annotating rivers and other features including the natural resources like salt and coal and the Conway Valley. Several salt brines were discovered all along the Canal River. Among the first salt producing furnaces were these located in Snow Hill near the then young town of Charleston in the 1830s. The Snow Hill Salt Works, incorporated in 1876. This picture, drawn in 1875, you can see just how heavy the manufacturing was. And then today, whatever remains, sadly, lies below this interstate. Welcome to this adventure, where over the period of three days we search for relics of this era. We find several interesting items, enjoy some of the good views of our beautiful state, investigate, and learn some history with us. Alright, today I had to get two separate people's permission to cross their property just to get to this place that I'm at. And uh, you look here on the picture in 1875 that this person drew. The hill on the right there, it looks like it's semi-cleared off. So today, I'm going to just do a little detecting around and maybe some people did some picnicking or did a little bit of camping or farming or something up here. I already found an old bucket. <laughs> I don't know how old that would be. There's still some, there's still some old trees. Like every other tree is is probably about three to four feet thick. And when I was young, I used to come up here and play on the cliffs, and it, it seemed it seemed flatter up here then. And it also looks flatter on the picture that that person drew. So yeah, we'll see what we can get today, if anything. And in true metal detecting fashion, found shotgun shell. <laughs> it appears to be a new club, and uh, the reason I can tell that is because there is a like a star pattern, star design type on it. And they date back to the very end of the 1800s to the early early 1900s. Yeah, looks like new club number 12. Still old. All right, so it's very humid today. I feel like I took a swim in a swimming pool. <laughs> uh, here's a weird one. Look at that. Some very tiny copper piece. I found what it came off of. And there's something shiny in it. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that's... Is that a cufflink? Oh, look at that. Look at that shiny. That's cool. Wow. I've got to put that somewhere special. So, <laughs> they were up here. The people who work the salt works, they were up here. Because that... That, this got to be old. What? Yeah. That is cool. All right, so, <laughs> oh man. I just got this signal that I thought was too good to be true. I haven't pulled it out yet, but I saw the edge and I'm 90%, 99.99% sure that it's silver. Let's see. Look at that. It's definitely a silver dime, and it is old too. It is a barber, it looks like, I think. Hold on, let me set up the camera here so I can get two hands on here. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Come on, let's get a date. Hold on. Looks like a 1905 on this barber. 
That is pretty. That is in very good condition. Look at that one dime right there. That is cool. There's another really good signal right over there. Let's see what else is here. Alright, well, so I'm just sweeping the woods here. And on that 1875 drawing, this this was clear. It well, it looked clear. It looked clear in the 1875 drawing. So, oh man, yeah. Look at that. That is a very nice old uh, lantern wick adjuster. And the wick, the wick would have been right in there. Awesome. There's another piece to it. I wonder if we can get a date or like we can date these. I wonder. Party. So, what I'm on right now appears to be the old railway, old tram rail area. And as you see, it goes straight down that way. And then as you see here on the map, we're on this side. And on the other side of the hill, over there, there's also another trail or another tramway. Another railway that went to a mine that is on that guy's property way over there. I heard a story from one of the locals that that mine uh, back in like the 80s, 70s, you could actually go in it. And her brother got in trouble <laughs> for going in there. But uh, I'm going to follow this tramway a little bit further uh, as far as I still have permission anyway. And yeah, I apologize, but it is like a jungle out here. It is freaking humid. Oh ho ho, is that, that looks like maybe the Boy Scout emblem or a Fleur de Lis, one of the two. Look at that, that's cool. Right here on this tramway. Why do I keep saying tramp? I don't know. But yeah, look at that. Cool. I think it's a Boy Scout emblem. Awesome. Looks like this old tree's seen some things. Get the get the heart on video. <laughs> I apologize for the sweat, but uh, seems like the further and further I go up this railway, the more coal I see kind of spilled off to the side of it. Um, so, what I'm pretty sure what they did was, so the salt brines were actually down close to the river. And these railways took coal from the mines out here and, uh, and burned it down in the furnaces to, uh, um, yeah, to boil the water off and actually get the, the good salt and whatnot. Alright, I think I'm getting close to where the mine was. Well, I mean, this could have been. These stacked rocks got some block right there. And, uh, some of the old coal here. I don't know. That could have been a mine. I mean, it, there's water coming out of there. It's definitely at least a spring. A lot of stacked rocks. Yeah, I'm about tuckered out for the day. Uh, this is the third mine portal that I have thoroughly detected around, and I think this place probably just been picked clean over the years. Or somehow it's just 
more stuff's buried. I haven't even found a minor tag or anything. Maybe they just didn't use them at this place. Since it, I mean, since it was just used for the salt works, I don't know. But just found this. Maybe an old sledge or a, a wedge. Pow, pow, pow. Yep. On the way out, double bit axe. Right there. And there's the mud portal. And of course, on my way out, I decide to get the side of this hill. I mean, this uh, the GoPro doesn't give it justice just how steep this is, but got a wheat penny. Right there under this, this giant weird tree yeah Let's see what else there is all right so i lied not quite on the way out yet look at the way this tree grew here it is gigantic right out of this mine which i just found a uh another sledgehammer right beside it yeah miner's tools i think that's actually pretty cool Let's try and get out of here again. All right, so back at the house, rehydrated and whatnot after sweating half my body weight today. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a pretty good day. Uh, up by those mines, we found this double bed axe. Uh, got a couple hammers there. I'm probably going to have to get into some uh, electrolysis or something and Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I'd pr I could probably actually reuse that Looks pretty good And down here If I can clean some of the outside off of there, there might be gold underneath there look at the uh, I don't know if you can see the shiny there or not, but check out that cuff link Very very nice cufflink then uh, Boy Scouts yeah pretty sure it's a Boy Scout pin yeah you can see the part where the uh, needle on the back went through right there very nice and then the oil lamp there that's a pretty cool relic and then this I mean it's actually in pretty good condition 1905 Barber Dime yeah, look, you can actually see the uh, the reeds very well on the back of that. That's very nice. Second day of detecting the snow hill area. Now we're on the other side of the hill with Chad today. And we're gonna detect this ridge where, I mean, even back in the day, Daniel Boone himself even hunted these hills. In fact, he lived right across the uh, other side of the river. Um, yeah, we found some good stuff on the other side and we're gonna go across this whole ridge yeah, hopefully some people left some things along the ridge line up here. What'd you find over here? I don't know, just looking around, I was having to catch this glass. <laughs> it was an old milk bottle. Oh, whoa. Old time Is milk that... bottle. Yeah, see the top? Yeah. No, th see, yeah, there's no threads. Is that like back when they used to deliver that stuff? Yeah, at least uh, deliver it to your porch. That's cool, And then dude. there would be like a deposit, usually like three cents or something, I think, yeah. Cool awesome. first find. <laughs> I think this one's uh, 50, 55 or 56 maybe. Good find, dude. What does that say? Duraglass. Duraglass. Yeah. Cool. Right so here. in a strange turn of events, I accidentally left the stem of my detector at home. 
and Chad came in with the wind with some of these zip ties <laughs> and had to do a little adapting. Woodsman edition. Woodsman edition. So, I was digging around up here and I found a set of Chevrolet or GM keys. I thought that was pretty neat. It looks like it says Airbus <laughs> on the tag. I know it's not really old, but, you know, it's kind of a neat little find. So, all right, cool. So, I found a couple quarters out here. Um, they seem to be modern. They're clad. But, you know, we'll take them. You know, it's a find. Found it right here along the uh, main road itself. So, all right, cool. Just swinging the detector and got lucky. <laughs> Day two, Chad found a few things up there on that hill. I think we were just looking too high up on the mountain, if that makes any sense. Uh, I didn't find anything yesterday except for some shotgun shells. No one likes those. Well, at least I don't. Today, I am on another mountain close by. And it is almost straight up and down. We all have a theory that there might be some turn of the century uh, items and stuff up there, so I don't know. Let's see. So, made it to the top, and uh, our crow friends up there are happy to see us. But it is interesting here. There is a lot of these tabletops up here. And if it was winter, if I was sitting right here, I would be able to see all of Kanawha City, which is uh, right across the river from Charleston. That's where Daniel Boone actually lived over there. He had a cabin there, and I'll put up the uh, date time frame here. But also, if I were to sit here, I could see the Snow Hill Salt Works. The uh, smokestack would have been right there. Very cool. And then, also, that right there, there's a bend in the river right through here. Maybe during winter time, I'll come back out here and get some more video. This would be a beautiful view in winter time. Looking for something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a magnifying glass. Check that out. It's an oldie. Still a goodie. Yeah, right, right beside that big rock right there. There are some uh, pieces of iron laying around. It's kind of strange. This thing was almost on the surface. Cool. So I thought I was on my way out of here. And something just came out of the ground here. It looks good. <laughs> It is good. That is a piece of jewelry. The flower or something on it. So the top of the hill is right up there. That is nice. See, I was certain that this was going to be a shotgun shell because there were two other shotgun shells right over there. Awesome. I found something today. <laughs> Okay, in a strange turn of events. So that piece of jewelry was found right there. And there is a rock pile right there. And just found the matching one. What are the odds of that? <laughs> a matching one. That is cool. 
and I thought that today was going to be a bad day. Very cool. All right, so this is the second one that I've found today. Uh, at first, I thought maybe it's a smaller musket ball, and uh, huh? Yeah, I think that's the sprue right there where they mold it. It's a little deformed right there. Yeah, second one today. Hmm. What do you think? Always interesting to see a tree fortify itself. <laughs> yeah, circle of rocks all the way around it. All right, got a gigantic tree here. And then I got this iron tone here. At first, my first thought was like, oh, like Civil War bayonet. I don't know. It might be. Look at that. What do you think of that? I'm going to take that home, but, well, I don't know. Yeah. Interesting piece of metal. way this is stacked almost looks like there was a structure here at some point doesn't it and that's in a it's in a circle the uh, the piece of iron was like right over there huh say this would have been a good camping site at some point come on let's find something else sprawled out our finds on this old mole uh, mossy log so here today got this uh pretty sure that's a musket ball found this other piece right here but uh i don't know it's a lot smaller and this right here this is a lead fragment kind of a weird shape and then uh the two i don't know what these are maybe they were earrings or something similar all right I think that's it for for today I may end up going ahead and ending the episode on that because uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit long already but got some weather moving in it looks like I know it's supposed to storm not till later but yeah it's getting more and more dark huh. I don't know. I got some rock ADD. Those rocks look work, but yeah. Anyway, everybody, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, have a good one.